One of the best parts about the racing community descending on New England, specifically New Hampshire this weekend, is there's some great local stories. This is CJ McLaughlin, who if you've watched Fox 25 over the years, you may recall the name because you were first introduced to our crowd when? Yeah, I think back in 2007. So I was racing up at uh, New Hampshire, and uh, you guys came into the story on me. That was pretty cool. And you were, at the time, 15 years old? Yeah, around there. So yep. you've been doing this for a long time? Yeah, since I was 10 years old. So what is it about auto racing that has always gotten to the core of your being? Um, so I started doing it with my dad uh, at a very young age, you know, I would always go and watch him race. So uh, it kind of just stuck with me, and I tried to get out of it. You know, I took some time off, and it just it's a bug that kind of sticks with you for your whole life. So. I love stories like yours because uh, you were born in Framingham, grew up in Bellingham, and to operate in the auto racing world here in New England presents some challenges because it's not the number one sport. There's not yeah. a whole bunch of sponsors knocking down your door. What was it like growing up in this sport locally? So it's kind of funny, up in New Hampshire and New England, there are a lot of uh, racers. Like there's a, there's a big, um, I want to say dominance coming in. We have Ryan Priest from Connecticut. We have uh, we had Ron Bouchard back in the day. He was from Fitchburg, Mass. Uh, myself and then Kaz Gralla from uh, Worcester, Mass is, uh, is now racing. So I think there's a resurgence of uh, New England drivers coming into uh, NASCAR right now. Yeah, we spoke with Kaz a couple years ago when he was racing down in Daytona. So let's get right into this weekend and what it means to you because you're going to be part of the Xfinity race, which is a 200 mile race, four o'clock this Saturday up at Loudoun. How do you prepare for it? It's your maiden voyage on the track. You don't get a lot of time laying the rubber on the road before it counts for real. So what goes on in your mind as you prepare for the weekend? Um, so I try to do a lot of uh, work on the simulator, trying to understand how the car reacts to the track and things of that nature. i uh, been trying to hydrate like crazy because it's going to be like 99 oh, degrees. Yeah. So not looking forward to that too much, but kind of excited about it at the same time. And then, uh, yeah, just trying to prepare mentally. It's a mental game. You know, it, it's a physical game. And it's a mental game, too. So for a team like yours that's not in every single week, you're only in four or five times a year, and that's based a lot on the level of sponsorship that you have, and you have to pick and choose your races. So New Hampshire's one of them, and I'm sure you're very thankful for your sponsor, who I'll give you the opportunity to give them a shout-out. <laughs> yep. There it is. <laughs> so you have, like I said, limited opportunity because you qualify on Saturday, too. So you count on the simulation, but when you actually get out there, what's the first thing? Thing you try to feel out when you're in the car uh, first thing I try to uh, feel out is like probably the grip level and uh, just trying to get on the gas so like the, the name of the game is trying to get on the gas as fast as possible right so the quicker you are on the gas the faster you are going down the straightaway um, so I'm trying to pick up my braking points as well as picking up my where I'm gonna start accelerating out of the corner so those two points on the track and then looking trying to find a marker on the track of where I'm gonna break and then get back on the gas. Well, you obviously are a race fan, so you've been watching races at Loudoun forever. <laughs> so what do you take away from what you've watched and that you're thinking going in, like, okay, that's something that I've learned from watching that I need to be aware of? Yeah, so like a big thing is like turn three at New Hampshire is like the big like danger zone of the track, and it's a big learning curve because there's a lot of bumps going into the corner and things of that nature. So I already know that like turn three is something I have to, you know, focusing on and practice. Like that way when I go into the race mode, we, uh, we know to watch for that. So give us an overview of the Xfinity Series this year. Because there's been a tendency in years past for guys to dip down from the Cup Series to the Xfinity Series. I know there's been a move away from that to a certain extent, but who's dominating the Xfinity Series and who are you really trying to you know, rub metal with this weekend? Uh, so far, it's been the Joe Gibbs Racing Team. Right now, they're doing really good, and they always do well. Um, so I think I think to come out and beat one of their cars would be astronomically well for me, and that's not my goal this weekend. My goal this weekend is to uh, finish the race and just kind of bring the car home in one piece. But uh, I think uh, so. Luckily, I have no Cup drivers in this race, so <laughs> none of that none of that stuff going on. But what do you think about that as a concept? Because there was a point in time as recently as the last five years where there were a lot of guys who were dipping down into the Xfinity series and changing in my mind what it was really meant to be, which was a training ground for guys to get ready to compete in the Cup Series. Yeah, so I think there's like two like schools of thought there where it's like if you're an Xfinity driver and you beat a Cup driver, you know, that kind of is a big notch on your belt that you went out and, and beat someone who's supposed to be better than you uh, driving ability-wise. But it's hard to say with, you know, how much sponsorship they bring and the cars that they're driving and how hard it would be to like a middle marker team to go out and beat a cup driver on a Saturday race at, at, in the Xfinity level. 12 years ago, profile of you done at age 15. 12 years into the future, where do you see CJ McLaughlin? That's a, that's a tough call. You know, like part of me is like, oh, I would have been a cup champion, uh, this and that. But 
you know, who knows? It, it's it's tough to say. You know, my goal was always to be a NASCAR Cup Series driver, so this is a great step in the right direction for me. I'm really excited about it. Well, we wish you nothing but the best this weekend, and you give us a great reason to watch on Saturday. <laughs> you can be sure I'll be ch checking it out and seeing where you are. What number car? Number 39, Psyops Racing Chevrolet. All right, that's what we'll be watching. CJ McLaughlin's going to be racing this weekend up in Loudoun at the New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks so much. Tom. Good to see you. Appreciate it.